I asked him what his first impression of the movie was and how the edit was going. He said, well, it's kind of Willem going, ar, 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 and you going, oi, 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 oi. <laughs> and I was like, okay, great, That's a, thanks for that. <laughs> You're so goddamn high and mighty just because you're a goddamn lighthouse keeper? Well, you ain't a captain of no ship, and you never was. The one thing I knew for sure from seeing some of the dailies was that if nothing else, this is going to make a great trailer. <laughs> like, but uh, it's a wild movie, and it's kind of tonally complicated. It's very sort of different. And uh, my favorite reaction is when you meet some guy and they're like, dude, that was crazy. <laughs> and that's like, that's kind of, and, and say it with such sort of pleasure, but it's sort of, yeah, that's, it, it's, it's great getting that reaction. How long have we been on this rock? Five weeks? Two days? Help me to recollect. A lot of time when you're doing research for a part is because the script is too thin and there's not enough specificity in the dialogue. Um, and so you kind of have to build it out to make it seem more convincing and just just with performance and try and find little things you can do from your research to add to it but with this it was so it was so juicy and kind of i mean there was just so much going on i mean it's very very wordy and to figure out a way to kind of smash it up and bruise it to make it sound as natural as possible <laughs> And a lot of lumberjack stuff. I listened to a lot of lumberjack songs, which Robert gave me, which are absolutely fascinating because they're kind of just all of the songs are just so brutal. I don't know. There's something about the valley of life being quite low. I mean, you know, it's an incredibly dangerous job. The sea shanties are all quite nice. They're all about sort of falling in love with a mermaid and stuff. And like, but the lumberjack ones are just. I guess because just a bunch of dudes together, <laughs> they're just like, they're just all, it's I guess like the equivalent of kind of gangster rap. I'm pretty sure that whole sequence was pretty much in one day. Like, out of all of that stuff, just, we were drinking water, but downing whole kind of whiskey bottles of water Oh my God, that's one of those, I mean, it's kind of waterboarding yourself. Like, I mean, it's kind of after four takes, I mean, it's, it makes you feel pretty crazy. It's weird, it seems like such a, an easy thing, but that was one of the most horrendous things I think I've ever, ever done on a movie. <laughs> it's funny, as much as I'd always like to say these sort of actor things, when it's like, oh, it's that, it's a nightmare, it's like going to war. Uh, but I think it's kind of nice to have everything, like the weather or different elements, to just push, be pushing back against you. Anything that can take away having to act, <laughs> it's sort of, it's just better. It's like punching someone. If you're if you're if you're punching and there's nothing there to hit back at you, then it's kind of more tiring. I love having a kind of interesting facial hair thing in a, in a movie. It just always makes you contort your uh, face in a strange way and it kind of helps with an accent and things. I'm always fascinated by a guy who chooses to have a moustache. You're like, what are you hiding behind there? There's always something going on. Never, never trust him. I just always think, you see a guy with a moustache walking down the street, looks a little bit like a hipster, probably having a psychological breakdown. Just if you have one, maybe call a therapist. <laughs> Before it's too late. Oh,